to. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what. This land belonged to his people. The whole United States belonged to his people. And uh, the king of Spain, Carlos III, somebody told the king that Russian scouts were snooping around here. And that made the king nervous. And the king said, well, I'd better do something to let Russia and other countries that are snooping around here, like the young United States, England and France, I better let them know this is my land. Well, he took it from the Native Americans. It wasn't his land, but que sera, sera, brother. So the king put up the money to pay for the early missions, like San Diego. We're now at San Gabriel Mission where we are right now in the old cemetery. So the king thought of the missions as farms. You know, with their grapevines and livestock and gardens. And if you have a big farm, you have to have workers. Well, the Native Americans were the workers, Esclavos and Espanol, they were slaves. When some some people hear that the church had slaves. Oh no, the church wouldn't have slaves. Well, the Native Americans could not leave the mission compound unless they had permission to pass, just like the African slaves in the South couldn't leave the plantations without a pass, permission from their master. So the Native Americans had to have permission from the Padres to leave the compound to go up in the hills and gather acorns or maybe visit their family and friends who were not Catholic, were not under the supervision of the Mission Padres. And so a lot of the Indians uh, took that time to run away. They wanted to go back to their religion, their way of life their free way of life they had before the white man came, put them under slavery. So the soldiers ran after them when they ran away and brought them back and they got a good whipping, at least 25 hard lashes. Sometimes they tied their feet in stocks so they couldn't walk, no chance they could run away. So the Native Americans suffered very much. Oh, around 1822, the King of Spain is fighting. We like to fight. He's fighting France and England. So he's so busy fighting that he cannot hold on to Mexico or California. So the Mexican government is now free from Spanish rule and they free the Native American slaves. And the slaves leave, they're no longer slaves, they're free now. They leave the missions, no more workers for the Padres. So a lot of the missions are abandoned and deserted by the church. This mission, San Gabriel, is never abandoned by the Padres. So, uh, even though it was just left with a few few Native American workers. So what could the freed Native Americans do once they were freed? Well, they had been separated from their way of life. A little boy would look to dad or grandpa and say, Grandpa, what was it like here before the white man came? Well, this was all ours. We had a paradise here. This was our land. Now it's been taken away from us. We had to ask the priests permission to go gather acorns or visit our non-Catholic family and friends that weren't under the mission compound supervision. Can you imagine the humiliation, my son? My land here and I have to ask a priest permission to go visit some of my family that are not Catholic, that still go by the Native American religion and way of life that our fathers brought here thousands of years ago.
how humiliating. Now we must remember that the priests believed sincerely, I think, believed that they were saving those savage pagan heathens, the Indians, from the fires of hell. See, that's why we fight. We want others to believe like we do. The priests want everyone to believe like they do. Truth is what we believe. See? Fighting countries, usually over religion and land, culture. We like to fight. Were you kids fighting the other day? Were you arguing a little bit? She said yes. <laughs> Who usually starts the fight? <laughs> Who wins the fight? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we're on eight. In the 1840s, in the 1840s, the Americans come here. They want to have all Estados Unidos from New York to California. This is Mexican land now. You know. It was Indian land, but now it's under the Mexicans. So the Americans take California from the Mexicans. Now, some people who come here, they see all the Chinese stores and businesses, and they say, oh, no, now the Chinese have taken it from the Mexicans. Uh -uh. Don't be quiet now. You know, the Chinese are taking it. In other words, the Estados Unidos, the United States, took the land from the Mexicans, and now some people say the Mexicans have taken it back. Ah, now the Chinese. We just all have to get along. It doesn't matter what well, ethnicity you're from. We all have to get well, along with everybody, don't we? I do so, so do you have any you have any questions you want to ask Santa John Fonts? I'm John Fonts. I'm usually here every weekend. This is my friend Manny. He's a Pachi Camacho. He's a real Native American. Do you have any questions? Did I help you? Did you learn a little bit? No preguntas? Um, yeah, a lot of questions. Yeah. Before anybody came, it was just in like no buildings, it was just like little houses. Yeah, you have a little Indian, uh, little Indian huts, Native American huts. There's a couple of them there in the mission grounds. Have you been inside yet? I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna take a minute. Okay. I, I'm gonna show the map. Okay, he'll show you the map in the museum. Any other questions? I have a question. Yes. How do they make the paint for the natives? Well, he'll tell you when he goes towards the museum. Because he's the one, he knows how, probably pigments from flowers and so forth. The oh, yeah. paint to paint your face, you have pigments from flowers and plants. Now, my name is John Fonz. I hope you put this on YouTube. What is your teacher's name? Um, I have a bunch of teachers. Uh huh? I have a bunch of teachers. Which is the one you, you like that's kind of pretty? What's her name? Oh, I don't want to get you in trouble. What's your teacher's name? Miss Cominetti. Miss what? Cominetti. Cominetti, Mrs. Cominetti. And you go to what school? What city? San Say it real clear. So go over to the camera and say the name of your school. I go to Arvita Elementary in San Bernardino. And your teacher's name? Miss Cominetti. Okay, and I'm John Fonts. They call me Santa John. And this is Manny, White Cloud, a real Native American Indian. Thank you so much for visiting the San Gabriel Mission, which was founded September the 8th, 1771. This is the fourth mission. Thank you very much.